Today, by request, the hilarious Jessica Holmes, Jody Gilmore of For Rent, and Pawnathon Canada star John Cantor. All this and more by request. Back to buy requests. Are you okay? You're like fidgety I'm, today. No, I'm not. <laughs> a little bit. We all know times are tough, and lately we've received a number of requests about finding a great place to live while on a budget. Our next guest feels that you don't have to own a property to have a fabulous home. On her HGTV series, For Rent, she helps people find budget friendly options and transforms them before your eyes. Let's take a look. <laughs> I am looking at $1,000 inclusive. Oh, okay. So I can see why you've been having a difficult time because yes. you're <laughs> describing this fabulous neighborhood, a wonderful lifestyle, and wanting a one bedroom, and you're kind of in bachelor territory with that price range. So it will definitely be a challenge to find something that meets all of your criteria. Know that I can insert personality into pretty much any place. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Jody. Please welcome the charming host of For Rent, Jody Gilmore. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet oh, you. Oh, the double, double, yes, yes. double yes. confusion. Oh, you didn't do even double. go there? No. Because I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> and she gets so Dan, mad. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Thanks for having you me. You know, we were talking backstage because there I'm not gonna name who. But you sort of have like a stalker from our staff on stage. <laughs> we'll talk oh, about it later. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, she watched your show all the time and she was telling me every single episode. And we just love it as well. So please tell us, where do you start when you're talking about renting versus buying? Because I know there are very few uh, shows that actually deal with just renters. There's, I don't think there is another show. Really? As far as I know, mine's it. Um, usually, when I'm working with my real estate clients and they're sort of wavering on do I rent, do I buy, um, I usually start with down payment. Um, if you've got um, a substantial down payment, you know, five to 10% can work these days, um, then it could be a good idea to purchase instead of rent. You might not live there yourself, mm -hmm. you might become a landlord, um, but you need to sort of have that kind of uh, vision of the future mm -hmm. in order to commit to um, purchasing. So if you don't have a down payment and you can't see five years into the future, just rent. You're renting. And do the, and do the best with that. And <laughs> exactly. that's really the premise of the show is like you, you transform these, these places. Yeah. So what are the biggest mistakes that renters make? Oh, there are so many. Um, <laughs> number one, I mean, at the, uh, the top of my show, I'm always talking to people about um, where, where they're going wrong with their rental search. So usually they're looking for too much on a limited budget. I, we always come back to, okay, but your, your budget can't accommodate all these wishes. What do they so, always want? Is there that one thing that it's totally every client is like, I need this? And um, I mean, we hear a lot of hardwood floors. Um, mm. Most renters want turnkey. They want to um, they want to arrive and the place looks fabulous um, and they want to be in a cool neighborhood. They sort of want that whole lifestyle of almost living in a hotel, right? Like you right. want to just show up and everything looks beautiful. That's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll get you a place you can rent and okay. you can have that. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> nice. Now, the second part of our show, I, I help people, um, you know, take something that might be a little bit dowdy looking and personalize it and make it feel fantastic. So quickly, for the people that are out there renting right now, what are two things that they can spend money on that you think that is a good investment for a renter? I would put money into a sofa. Okay. Um, I think sofas and rugs. <laughs> sofas and rugs. Um, I would I would do that. Um, but if you're if you're looking to spruce up a rental, paint goes such a long way, and it's so inexpensive. Mm -hmm. um, go for it. And so just ask your renter. Maybe they can paint it back if they need to paint it back to a neutral right. color before they leave. Exactly. What colors on the walls now? And can I can I put it back to that color when I leave? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming and sharing some tips. Thank Where can you. people get more information about you and the show? The best place to get more information is hgtv.ca. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for being with us. Right now we have a request for Deanna Simcoe and Rama 